audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly You vs. Them reading. Now Aquarius, I also do your weekly uh, general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to doing my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Aquarius. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you though, Aquarius, be sure to let me know which card did in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments and hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards. Um, and then also, I would appreciate it for you to uh, give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy the reading because it does help out my channel a lot and yeah, I just am appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. Just that extra step. Um, and yeah, Aquarius, we're just going to get into this reading. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, right? I'm just here to give you some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision for you or to speak for anybody, right? Uh, ultimately, the decision is yours to make and how you go throughout your week. But with all that being said, Aquarius, let's start getting into your reading with the overall energies with the animal oracles oracle decks that i have rather uh so we have your first one which is the bobcat spirit life is a mystery now number eight for numerology aquarius so be sure to write that down uh to look up for numerology later on to see if there's any type of significance um for the number eight for your life this week uh, the Bobcat Spirit says life is a mystery, though, right? And then it's interesting to have this message paired with the Shark card, which says trust your uh, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. So kind of like your intuition, essentially, but also uh, a little bit more in depth with intuition, kind of like a almost like a sixth sense Aquarius. If you feel as if you have like a pretty good uh, read on people, or you can have a I don't know. I guess the only thing I want to say with this Aquarius is that um, with the Bobcat spirit, this is kind of like letting me know that what you feel like you might know about this person, for example, um, this could even just be for like a general message as well, but I do feel like it's more so relevant for this person, Aquarius. It is telling me that you're, what you're thinking uh, is this case may not be the case. You might be thinking you're connecting to your intuition in regards to some type of situation regarding this person, uh, but I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, it might not quite be how you think it's playing out or how you think it is. Um, so something to consider. Maybe we'll get some enlightenment through tarot as well, right? But I'm going to just leave that there and you can decide how that is relevant for you, Aquarius. But now I'm going to be doing a card for you, Aquarius, a card for them, and then I'm going to be doing a card for the energy between y'all two. And then I'll be pulling clarifiers to just get deeper into the messages, Aquarius. We're, we're going to start on your side first with the release card. Uh, Archangel Azriel, number 13, equaling to 4 for numerology as well. I also just want to say, Aquarius, um, this is just my own bias speaking, just because my <laughs> the foundation of my belief system is the Archangel, so I would suggest connecting with Archangel Raziel um, if you feel open to that, if you feel called to that, right? But don't feel like you have to. This card says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So Aquarius, it seems like you're in this kind of headspace of where now we this could be like the you in this process of releasing emotions or releasing like the uh narrative the storyline that you think of how this person is feeling or how things are playing out right this could be like you having like some thoughts on releasing this person and releasing this connection um i kind of feel like it's the first part though just judging off of these other cards but we'll know with clarifiers um on their side of things aquarius we have the king of fire for them and the king of fire is the card that says focus 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 communicate with a vision vision <laughs> i like bit my lip at the same time when i said vision so i said it weird uh communicate with a vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so when someone is the king of fire or a normal tarot without the elements it would be king of wands uh this would be a person who's pretty self-motivated someone who is uh I, I want to say a little bit, maybe they like um, think later, but they're, they act first. First and foremost, they act first and think later. 
Um, they're probably a little bit more rambunctious. They're probably a little bit more loud than you are, right? But I guess those details don't really matter. Um, but I am seeing this person, especially when you have like the King of Fire, like the, the emphasis on focus is where they might be a little bit tel tunnel visioned. And so when you have that tunnel vision, uh, you know, you might miss other details. So maybe they might have a tunnel vision on one specific thing, Aquarius, and maybe like because of that tunnel vision, they didn't see some aspect of that might have upset you. They may not have considered like an avenue of how you might have taken a situation, right? This is me just like speaking just in terms of like a personality trait for somebody, right? I don't know what's going on between y'all two, obviously, but this is just one of those things. When I see this for a person's personality, I'm just like, okay, this one, this is usually the kind of person that kind of needs to be made aware of other people's, um, realities their own like lives right not to say that this person's self-centered but it's just like they're the ones that would be like the being so focused on like their goals and their passions that they forget to eat sort of thing right so it's nothing really bad just very much so that type of energy maybe you can relate to it as well though aquarius right uh the energy between y'all two is the page of water this card says a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic <laughs> heightened psychic abilities so when you see this this would be also like the page of cups aquarius uh when you see this this is i feel like hmm let's see i'm gonna be honest here let's see how like for when i pull the clarifiers it might tell us a different story aquarius but all, out on the limb it seems like with all these messages coming out aquarius this might be a week of where you kind of have to um speak what you what is going on up here and especially for my Aquariuses that have been tapping into my readings for a while and have been relating to my readings i know for a while for you aquarius you've been in this place of like having like maybe a little bit of cold feet in regards to something and you know just overall anxiety and like worried about the other person worried about um not necessarily worried but like overthinking other people's perspectives of you and because of that you would keep things in you kind of just keep more like the more you did this the more reserved you became um and so i feel like there's like this push to kind of like again kind of open up because that's going to be what deepens um the connection between you two so you let's just say that you open up and being like hey like i don't like when you do this and this or i feel like maybe you feel like they don't even notice you or they even respect you because they don't um speak to you all that often perhaps right or maybe the way that they speak to you isn't in a way that you would are used to and so by communicating that they can just let you know being like oh no like like whatever 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 the reasoning is i don't know the reasoning and then that's what brings you guys closer together because it's like the narrative that you think that you know about this situation isn't actually the case there's a little bit more to the story than you're aware of uh, aquarius but let's get into this reading though with actual tarot not that we haven't been doing tarot this entire time but with some clarifiers we actually can get a pretty more uh much more <laughs> fleshed out message forgive me aquarius i just started doing readings for the evening so i'm a little bit rusty i guess um mm -mm, let's see on your side of things what is the back of that king of swords uh definitely when you have the king of swords coming in aquarius this is i mean this is you king of swords would be the king of air and elements you're an air sign aquarius um I see this more so as a message of, and you got, I feel like you've already kind of exuded this energy for a little bit, Aquarius, aware you keep a calm demeanor, you think things through, you don't react necessarily. But the, the problem here is, is when this gets out of balance a little bit, which I kind of had this suspicion that might be getting a little bit out of balance for you, Aquarius, where it's just like, you're keeping things too much to yourself, you're... Um, not showing any type of emotion and it's because of that like not only does it make it hard for the other person to read when to know when you're actually upset but you're also kind of like just doing a disservice to your own voice right if you're up in these mountains for too long and just surrounding yourself with animals you eventually forget how to communicate with other people or communicate with other um with this person communicate what's going on in your own head right we have as the clarifiers for your release card though aquarius the seven of wands the nine of pentacles and then the queen of pentacles i'll show you the cards better in a moment uh i like <laughs> i enjoy this no something i'm going to point out as well in a moment aquarius i enjoy these two energies 
do these two cards rather coming in together because I see the Nine of Pentacles as a lesser version of the Queen of Pentacles. I see the Nine of Pentacles as someone building up to be the Queen. Um, Nine of Pentacles is that self-sufficient energy tapping into connecting to your guides a little bit more, right? Uh, you notice with this individual, like she's just connecting to the owl and listening to where the owl's trying to lead her. Also, when you had your King of Air, there's an owl standing right next to you as well. So something I just want to point out, Aquarius, is let me know if you've had owls pointing, uh, popping up in your feed at all. When I say your feed, like maybe in like, um, and like your recommended YouTube videos or something like that. It seems irrelevant, but it's um, those type. Those are the type of things that you would consider like breadcrumbs and the spirit really trying to get your attention for something. And then once you start opening yourself up to that energy, then you know y'all aren't here for a spiritual lesson, right? But definitely consider connecting to your guides a little bit more if you are open to that. Or in layman's terms, for those that are not that spiritual, just listen to your intuition because that's how a spirit uh, connects with you to your intuition, is through your intuition. At least that's what some people believe, right? So it goes back to the same message of the shark of reconnecting to your intuition. It feels like some of you guys are a little just bit out of touch or out of your element in terms of... Uh, what's going on up here it feels like um because you're just so convinced of what's like going on in terms of this connection uh, or what what you think might be happening you are starting to get out of touch with your intuition and like i don't want to say losing grasp on reality because that sounds so dramatic right but sometimes you just need a moment to be grounded right i feel like the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is the objective of where you want to be over much more grounded energy much more calm more serene state of mind right that's a more balanced approach, right? Whereas like the king of swords is just surrounded by animals up by themselves, right? The pentacle energy is more grounded and they more, they're just more down to earth. Um, but let's start getting some clarifiers for their side of things now, Aquarius, with this king of fire. See what's up with them. <clears throat> All right, Aquarius. So first thing, oh, okay. First thing I want to point out, whenever, as like a tarot reader, right, whenever a tarot reader, tarot reader does these types of readings, right, there's certain key points that you'll always pay attention to whenever a card comes forward, right? When you see two of cups, a reader will associate two of cups with like a deep soul connection. Um, when you see a page of swords, this is a sign of someone that is paying attention to, to, an, to an individual. So this is a sign of someone paying attention to an individual, usually either through like, you know, like, in the 21st century now like through social media and stuff like that but i kind of go a little bit deeper with this in the sense that they are paying attention to you because they want to have some type of communication with you right i say this even more so because you have the six of pentacles or they have i guess rather the six of pentacles as their back of the deck energy letting me know that they do want to it's like they're it's one of those things right where um, you're in a store somewhere and, like, there's just someone off in the distance that you want to, like, get in contact with, right? Or it's, I don't know why I'm saying you, right? But it's just, like, someone in the distance is just seeing you and, like, building up the courage to come up and talk to you about whatever y'all's situation is, whatever y'all's dynamic is. King of Swords comes in for them as well. Um, I do kind of feel like they match your energy, Aquarius, in the same sense of being very, um, introverted, very to themselves, Right, not used to having to open up, not used to having to uh, communicate, or not even knowing how to communicate with people. Right, they maybe have more more of a comfort communicating with animals and stuff like that. And you know, I just don't feel as if communication and opening up to people is their first nature. And it's because of that kind of guarded energy that you might be receiving from them, right? Uh, where you start having like convincing yourself of this narrative, uh, Aquarius, of how things are. Um, that's why you have the Bobcat spirit saying there's a little bit more going on that meets the eye. And you have to think about it like this, Aquarius. If you're reading this, their energy like this, remember you have the King of Swords as well in your energy as well. So you have to consider that if you're reading them in a guarded way and you can't really read their energy at all, what do you think, how do you think they're feeling with you? Roles reversed, because essentially I really do see you guys kind of being two in the same. Uh, Seven Pentacles shows to me that they are thinking more so long-term um, Aquarius. They are wanting to... I don't know why. It just feels as if like there's like this sense of where they feel like they need to um, reaffirm to you or communicate with you that they're in this for the long call, really just um, letting you know that they're not going to leave you. Such a random message. 
Um, three more clarifiers for this just because. Uh, four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups. Uh, so this is a person you've known for a while, Aquarius, I feel. With the Six of Cups, this lets me know of a history. Four of Pentacles comes in of where it's waiting out energy, like waiting it out or waiting for the right moment. Um, Ten of Wands lets me know of where it's like adds a little bit more complexity to this connection. It almost seems as if maybe perhaps something from the past is coming into the situation nowadays with this connection, Aquarius, that's making it a little bit harder to um, for both you guys to really connect with one another or really, um, I don't know. It just feels like maybe, let's say, um, like a... Maybe once in the past, y'all couldn't like link up in such a way before. And now things are just different. Now you guys would actually have time for one another. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe the first time you guys met, um, it just wasn't the right timing. And so now that they're coming back into your life in some type of way where they want to, they're like nervous about how to go about communicating that, right? And I see on your side of things that you, you know, if it is that narrative that you aren't sure how to receive that, right? Because there is just like this sense of opening up to them and not convincing yourself that you know how this story is going to end, right? And it would make sense that you would feel this way because it's like, especially if this is like, you guys tried to make this work out in the past before and it just didn't, you feel like you know the story. But I do feel like they've changed as well. Like, I do feel like if y'all just didn't pan out before, it was just truly because of a bad timing thing. The Wheel of Fortune comes in for you guys where it's turning in y'all's favor. So I don't know what's happened in the past with you guys, Aquarius, that kind of makes both parties seem a little bit more guarded, a little bit more mysterious, a little bit more unapproachable. But I do see some compatibility here. I do see this person coming in with new good intentions, right? There's a reason why you have the page of water coming in saying that things like, um, like, I mean, the per new person entering your life. Um, I, <laughs> I just feel as if it's like, a, I don't know. I feel like a, this is definitely going to be a week of where perspective is like everything for both party for both sides. I feel as if it's, um, it's going to be like a, one of those things when you butt guys both open up to one another, you're going to be like, oh, I never was aware that you felt this way or right and vice versa. Um, but yeah, very interesting reading overall, Aquarius. This definitely is a lot more um, complex than I anticipated this reading to be. So definitely let me know in the read, uh, comments below how this correlates for you and y'all's lives. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Aquarius, and I'll connect with you soon. Until next time, I love you so much. Bye.